Hi guys, in this video I will try to recreate this lightning effect and dark background, like from JRY Media's Reels. First of all let's make this zooming effect like in his video. Duplicate your video. Go to time and select, freeze frame. Now go a few frames backward and move freeze layer there. Cut that layer where the actual video starts from. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on freeze layer, make a nice selection of the car to isolate it. You can use pen tool to make a mask over the car, it's up to you, I find roto brush more accurate. Once you've finished selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Now go to very end of the roto brush layer and press S on your keyboard. Click on scale stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then go to very beginning of that layer and change scale to 0%. Select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve. It's too fast, I will move keyframe backward a bit. That's better. Stretch roto brushed layer to the point where the first keyframe is. Make sure to enable motion blur on that layer. Zoom in transition is ready. Let's begin making other effects. Duplicate your video and rename it to car only. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Make a nice selection here as well. I will skip that part. Once you've finished an isolated car from a background, toggle off car only layer for a while. Then select the bottom one and rename it to background. Let's make that video dark like in JRY's video, due to so I will add some effects as, curve, exposure and so on. You can do it by your method. Once you've darkened your video, toggle on car only layer and check if you are happy with it. I think it's enough in my case. Toggle off car only layer again, Select background layer and toggle off effects on it for a while, so we can see the video clearly. Now go to tracker tab and click on track camera. Once analyzing is done, select some points on a car, right click and select create null and camera. Cut track null layer, match it to the length of the background layer. Now bring your lightning video. I have mine here, I will leave a download link in description. Note, this is not the same from JRY's video. I don't know what exactly did he use in his video. I'm just showing how to recreate that effect as close as possible. Move your lightning layer to the top, link it with track null and enable 3D on lightning layer. Correct the X, Y, Z and scale as much as you need. Now click on toggle switches and change lightning mode from normal to screen. Position lightning and scale until you are happy. Toggle on car only layer and move it above the lightning layer. Now select background layer and toggle back on all effects. Let's avoid this unwanted lightning lines here. Select lightning layer and grab a rectangle tool, draw a mask like this. Open mask and add a feather a bit to smooth the edges. You can duplicate lightning layer and add as much lightnings as you want, or add other lightnings and do the same process you did with the previous one. I'm happy with my edit. Let's add now a shake effects like in his video. In my case, I will use Twitch plugin. I'm not sure what JRY has used, maybe a Sapphire S shakes plugin or something else. I will stay on Twitch. Pre-compose all layers you were working on into one layer, you can leave zooming layer. Make sure you are at the very beginning of the layer and add a Twitch plugin on it. Copy my settings if you want or make your own shakes. Click on amount stopwatch icon to create a keyframe, then go forward like this and change amount to zero. Press you on your keyboard to see created keyframes, move them to stretch shake effects if needed. In my case shakes are too strong, I will decrease the speed and amount at the beginning of the video. That's better. In the video's description, I will leave a website where you can download this lightning videos for free or even paid. I have tried to remake JRY's edit, write in comments if it was a bit close to his video. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.